Hi, I'm Brandon Leonard with Men's Health Network, and I'm here in Washington, D.C. at the Dialogue on Men's Health series, discussing strategies and initiatives to improve men's and boys' health throughout the lifespan. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Gregory Pecchia, who is a family physician and geriatrician, as well as a physician educator at the Eisenhower Medical Center in Rancho Mirage, California. And in addition, Dr. Pecchia is a 30-year member of the American Osteopathic Association and is representing the AOA to the Men's Health Dialogue today. So welcome, Dr. Pecchia. Nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Could you start out by telling us a little bit about AOA's new initiative around male health? Um, well, it started about three years ago with uh, the former AOA president, Peter Ajaluni, who announced an initiative in that regard um, generally and over the past few years that's codified into um, a number of uh, initiatives that predominantly uh, wrap around some of the resources uh, through the Men's Health Network, um, public-private uh, partnerships, and really a vision for the American Osteopathic Association to pull through um, some of those resources to our membership and eventually for implementation into uh, our clinical medicine and our training programs for future physicians. Okay. And where would you like to see this initiative in, say, five years? Uh, my personal bias is uh, that we find a way to really implement uh, the components of men's health that are evidence-based that can lead to um, better outcomes for men, better outcomes for family, families, better outcomes for children of, of men, and better outcomes for our communities. Okay. How do you think physicians and clinics make boys and men feel more comfortable when they're visiting a physician, or how could they improve on that? You know, leveraging the, the differences between men and women, uh, which uh, from a clinician standpoint, uh, really uh, focus around the fact that Confronting men directly about uh, health care problems and health issues sometimes doesn't generate the desired outcome, but rather laying out a, an array of uh, options for them to begin to connect to health care, uh, understand health care as not only a, a disease-oriented system to uh, which one accesses when uh, they're having pain or a medical issue, but to access it as well for uh, wellness, prevention, and uh, early detection. Okay. Do you see a place for more or better training for physicians on how to communicate effectively with men and boys that they see in their practices? Absolutely, and I think uh, our profession uh, focuses on that in our training, the, the personal aspects, the doctor-patient relationship, and, and now with uh, social networking tools etc. that uh, we now have available. Uh, we can augment that by offering those opportunities to our, uh, our patients and their families, particularly with respect to uh, men's health and um, in a way that uh, allows them to gain control of that, own that, that part of their health care and their wellness. Okay. So you're here today for your first uh, meeting of the Men's Health Dialogue. Do you have any thoughts from the discussion so far, um, anything that really stuck out for you or anything that you look forward to discussing at some of these future meetings? I think the thing that struck me the most was the uh, focus on access. Uh, now that uh, we have momentum through the uh, healthcare.gov uh, ACA initiative, uh, my initial observations in the field have been that access is, is really an issue. Have a lot of folks that have health care, have a health care card for their access to care for the first time for many of them without necessarily having an understanding of what that care is or even an understanding of the primary care piece as their entry point. And um, the place uh, that men's health can play in that is at least for that gender group to uh, increase the opportunities for access and, uh, and also enrollment in the plan itself. Okay. Anything else that you'd like to share about the dialogue process or about your work with the AOA? I'm um, honored to represent the AOA here and uh, looking forward to working with your 
leaders and uh, you know, many of the programs that, that have been presented today. Okay, thank you so much.